Hello everybody, today we will try to make the marriage between my computer and this mouse work. We meet him again, my trusty MacBook Pro mid-2010. I didn't add any other kernel panics since our fix. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check that video in the card above right after finishing this one. As I said, we will try to make this mouse, a Logitech MX Master 3, working with my laptop. It already works with the included USB dongle, but I want to use it with Bluetooth, since I only have two USB ports, and honestly I don't really like dongles. The problem is that this mouse works only with Bluetooth 4.0 or higher, and my computer has version 2.1. Looking online, I saw that the Wi-Fi Bluetooth combo card from the 2012 MacBook Pro should be compatible and make everything work nicely. So, let's disassemble the computer and remove the card. The cards are really similar, but the screw holes are different and the new card has 4 antennas instead of 3 of the old one. I've connected the J1, J2 and J3 antennas, reconnected the card to the motherboard and I've tested it. I was really surprised to see that the mouse started working just like that. I've also tested the Wi-Fi, and while the 2.4 GHz signal was working, the 5 GHz wasn't. What came next was a lot of trial and error of various antenna combinations. What I've learned is that J3 is the Bluetooth antenna and J0 is the 5 GHz one, but in order to have the bare minimum working I need to connect J1, J2 and J3. That way we are only missing the 5 GHz signal. My plan is to find another antenna and connect it to J0 in order to also have the 5 GHz Wi-Fi working again. After double checking everything again, I've modified the plastic holder. I had to cut some parts of it to make the connector and the antennas fit again.
Lastly, I had to use some double-sided tape to fix it to the holder, since the screw holes weren't in the same spot. After reconnecting the card and closing the computer, everything was working and the upgrade was a success. I'll leave you the part number in the description and I'll let you know if I'll be able to fix the 5GHz Wi-Fi problem. I would really love you to subscribe, leave a like and tell me in the comment if this video helped you to upgrade your machine too. I'll see you next week, but in the meanwhile I'm Leo and as always remember to keep things alive.